where, where the prophecies are speak loud. So we have to be first. That, that's why you have to know this man. The skipper telling now, I think it's Isaiah. He said, him sending prophets them rising up early. Then we we out here Saturday in, Saturday out, doing breakdowns during the week and putting it up on um on YouTube. Whatever season it be, then we always I declare the most high word and I push in prophecies them to whosoever want to hear. And who don't want to hear, who can't say you never hear. Then the point is that you did see it. If you never see it, you hear it. If you never hear it, you hear it. They're not heard. Yes, they did not heard. They not, not heard. So yeah, they, they, um, their voice went out into all the earth, man. No excuse. See? So no excuse is there, man. Because we're out here Saturday in, every Saturday. During the week, we're pushing up videos for you people to know what's coming. Then we're telling you what is coming and how detrimental the new world order then gonna be. Then, and that the new world order that is about to be established, you are not a part of it. The plan is not to have you people a part of it. Then, that's why, um, for example, um, um, Bill Gates. Bill Gates tell you. You say yo, with new vaccine, we can be able to reduce the population um, 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 below. It's a starter. You know what I mean? To reduce the earth population um, below 500 million. You know how much the earth is now? The earth is basically 7.8 billion. And to reduce the earth population below 500 million, that's a vast majority. And you make you know, say yo, with new vaccine, we can be able to do a good job with that. So when you hear people, when you see vaccine come out and they want to make you know so you have to give your child a shot. Then basically they tell you so you have to um, get your child messed up. And what, 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 when, when our children take vaccine, what do you do? You mess them up mentally, physically. That's why we are always on the law. We are always going to be on the law. Then as long as in this society, we as a people of the Most High, we're going to always be on the law until Shiloh come. Which is our shy. Then there's no winning here, man. But niggas won't get that. No rest. We get that. So we're not gonna win here, so we don't we don't win here. Then in the court system we don't win. Then we are always losing man. By the time for our winning is coming, man. Matter of fact, we are skipper tell them. We are we already got the victory. Yo. Because from the most I put him word in us, man, and we get to understand the scriptures, the true breakdown of the scriptures, we, we, we get the victory already. And just the manifestation left for the, for the, for the, for the power. Because the scripture tell you, he said, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Okay. So when Yahweh shall come and empower him and start with power and might, whosoever never was subject to being an Israelite, I got subject. Then, it is by force our people get forced to believe in the so called white man as a God. Then, so it is by force them are going to turn back to him or women. I'm going to be subjected again by force. Because it is by force and trauma, our women don't, don't really um, 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 cleave to the so called white man. It is by force them do that. It is by force them to really subject themselves to the so called Negro man. Exactly, the so called Negro man biggest enemy. Then, the woman, the woman, in America, what they do, the woman basically try, the, try her best to get rid of the man out of the house so she can go up on section 8 and then the father stand to child support so she can't get the money from all angles man. this is this our 10 point plan because she do have the money to make it see she do have the time to hurry so she have income and come from all over the world yeah. so we, we're here now in this society then we're not, we're not going to win man then with the time for our, our winning the real winning come man we say in a weed up man go on Hey, the skipper I the Lord said, I will turn unto my place. He said, in their affliction, they might go seek him early. Then, so, when, 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 when we talk, 
Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 2. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. Yeah, he said, when you eat the roll, when you understand the book here, go and talk to the people, go and talk to the children of Israel. And you know what it is? It says, 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15, to study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Yes, yeah, scripture says, study to show thyself approved, and that's you, healing the person. All right? Because you not only, you not only eat physically, your mind eat knowledge. Then people don't really know that. That's why they say what? Reading is fundamental. That's right. Fundamental meaning what? Basic principles. Foundation. Because when you read, you're reading the right stuff. It gives you, give you a proper foundation, man. See? It's a Job 24 and 3. For the ear, try it, try it words as the most tasted meat. Yeah, exactly. The ear do what? Try it words. As they hear, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, so they hear, <laughs> so they hear, try it words as the as the um, as the mold, show it meat, all right, yeah, go on up. So, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, and I will give you fosters according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding, yeah, good point. Well, I'm just finished. He said, he give us um, pastors according to him, the most I said that. He shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Remember him said that? He said, I, I will give you pastors. Not, not the so-called white man. Not the, not the, not the, uh, the seminary schools. College, not man. college. You're going to college and them teach you to be a pastor. No. None of the prophets them from ancient time coming up never got no school for being a prophet. Moses, right. Moses said, Lord, I'm not an eloquent man. He said, oh, hey, I'm me and your mouth. I'm going to tell you what he said. Warrior head. See? Hold on. Oh, who have something? If you, if you guys are kind of Christian, what are you? We are Hebrew Israelites, we are a nation of people. So how you save the people? How? How do save the people? Like, the people no, we are not here to save the people then. We are out here to preach and also over here and, 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 and take heed. And wake up under the wheel of the Mosa, which is coming out here and teach the word of the heavenly father. But they never say you have to be saved to enter the kingdom of God. Or you, or you be saved. No, 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 Nobody not save it. So if you go, if you hear Christians that say, "Oh, them save and sanctify and all of that," nobody not save yet. And those who ever get saved, the scripture tell you, all Israel shall be saved. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Romans 11, 26, and so all Israel shall be saved, right. as it is written, they shall come out of Zion to deliver up, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them. When I will take away their sins. Right, so all Israel shall be saved. Who is Israel? Our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. See it here. Though these people on the sign, predominantly we here, majority of the people here are Benjamites, predominantly. So you see, um, the West Indians, Jamaicans, they are Benjamites. All Israel shall be saved. All of them people upon the sign. We're not safe. We're not safe. And when we we're gone in spirit, leave us. You know, you body, know. The, uh, uh, you but, be saved. Yeah, no, what saved. happened is that no, there's a there's a destruction coming. Yes. Then give me give me um, Daniel 12 verse one, please. Then 
But this scripture says, All Israel shall be saved because what? Who have come out of Zion? They shall come out of Zion and deliver us. Why are we going to need to be delivered? Why there would be a. Um, why is, what is the reason for the deliverance? From here. From here. Yeah. Something going to happen. Yeah. And somebody else will come and save us. See if it is happening. Yeah. Look for There's a reason why we're going to slavery, like the chancel and the slave trade, yeah. a few hundred years ago. Yeah. All these things happened because it was prophesied in the scripture. Right? What's the name of the religion? Because the Lord, the Hebrew Israelites. And the salvation we have seen on the slave trade, the kingdom of every, all Israel are going to be saved. Every single one of them. Even the one that were wicked. Every, you want to know why? You want to know why? Because Jesus said that. Because it was promised. The Bible said that it was promised. Yeah. But we just read it a while ago. Read it again. Romans 11, 26 again. It's a promise. Right? The Lord make a promise to Abraham. Right? Oh, the teach our Christianity, which we teach the Bible, is that people are going um, to get judgment, some are going to heaven, and some are going to hell. Yeah, yeah which, but the, the, that means it's not in the Bible. Bible. No, no, the Bible. Bible. Bible don't teach that. No, 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 you are talking about the prophecy in um, Revelation and say he had the key of the bottom of the spit. Read it up here. 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 Read it up 